come on, Akasan, digital monster, doo doo. Akasan, ah, come on, digital reactor, doo doo. Akasan's honest reactions, Akasan. Everybody strap in. Pokemon versus Digimon. I actually wasn't going to react to this one at all, and I know you guys are used to me reacting to every death battle and such. But um, I just um, I started realizing that I'm starting to do like the entire catalog of uh, death battles, and I don't want to be that type of person, that type of reactor and such. Um, and I have little to no interest of like in this particular battle in anyways. Uh, but I started seeing what uh, some of you guys were commenting and um, now I'm actually a little bit curious about this and I really couldn't find anything else to react to. So <laughs> Pokemon versus Digimon, let's go. And it's been enough time that the life of the video, ah, I'm not stealing any views. This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Lenovo Game State. Now, who would win a death battle? You're an old man who's wasted his life doing God knows what. You may realize that you always wanted to catalog every animal in the world. But that would be a lot of work, so you probably would just bribe a kid to do it for you. So began the story of Red, an 11-year-old I didn't know that. Really I'm so decision. confused. This is... My dad gave me the name Red, hoping that when I grew up, it would help me have the passion and energy of a red-hot fire. <laughs> While exploring the world, Red and his Charmin just trainer in Pokemon. They became friends. And in the Pokemon world, a strong bond between trainer and monster can make crazy things happen. He unlocked the power of Mega Evolution. Mega Charizard X gets a major boost in attack, defense, and special attack. And if the flame on the tip of Charizard's tail goes out, he dies. God damn. And that seems like the worst thing ever. And Reds has even defeated Mewtwo, the most powerful psychic Pokemon known to man. After becoming the Kanto champion and catching over 150 Pokemon... <laughs> Summer day in 1995, Taikamiya, or Yagami Taichi in Japan, went to camp with his friends. It promised to be a summer of fun and youthful adventures. Then a rainbow hole opened up in the sky, shot Tamagotchis at everybody, and sucked them into cyberspace. Well, yeah, basically. Together with the other Digi Destined, Tai and Agumon traversed the digital world bringing balance to the chaos and destruction caused by several diabolical monsters. Including an Elvis Presley impersonator who was also a monkey. Now, let's get some straight, Sonny Boy. I'm the monarch of rock and roll. Your jobs make me happy. Man, how high were they when they wrote this thing? Agumon soon learned how to digivolve even further. First up is his champion form. Great I have no fucking clue what they're talking about. I know this song, though. who can still pull off the whole cute and cuddly mascot thing, Greymon is two terrifying stories tall and way more powerful. Metal Greymon also wears layers of Chrome Digizoid armor, the hardest metal in the digital world, making Chrome Digizoid tougher than the likes of Tungsten, Steel, and Titanium. And finally, there's Agumon's Mega Level, War Greymon. Quite literally, in fact. War Greymon wears two clawed gauntlets called the Draymon Destroyers, weapons which are extremely deadly, which is capable of blocking attacks from what other Mega Level What the fuck are they talking about? The now I know what War it Greymon's must feel like when I talk to people force. about Where comic books. Apoclamon, basically the physical embodiment of the recycle bin, and save both the digital and real worlds from being deleted forever. Drugs, man. All right, the combats are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, we've got a mission for you. What? Hey, do you want to make a video game? Yeah. Where Reactors. Leave your comments. Reactor verse. To influence the direction of the game. Hmm. Tower of Magnus. Let's build a game together. The Red Dreaded Nation. Or whatever you want. Oh, that'd be but fucking right cool, now, right? It's well, Pokemon, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> that was weird. Ah, I cut it all out. Campfire and a golden, delicious marshmallow. Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> I thought that was that was pretty clever. Damn. Ooh, you killed my marshmallow. Whoa! 
You can talk? You must be really rare. Hey, Agumon. I got some... I choose you! Charizard! This is the only thing I know about Digimon is this song. What's Tron? Mega Punch! <laughs> This is a dope battle though, regardless. Even though I'm not as invested in these characters, I like what they're doing. Even the music sounds really good. I think so. It's not over yet. Evil. I believe in Charizard. Wow. Whoa, he did you fall. No, this is Mega Evolution. Let's go, Mega Charizard. Dragon Claw. Holy shit! Uh, there we go. Did you evolve too? God, if I had some weed right now, this would be so. What the fuck is that? What? It evolved again? Yeah! Now you'll see what a real mega form can do. Sure, sir! Take him out quick! You know what? I almost think that Red is going to take out uh, whoever that Digimon guy's owner is because they have a connection or something like that. Damn! But I guess Digimon's winning this one. Oh shit! What are you doing? Good. We're not supposed to fight. Call up your dragon. Ah. Yeah. Oh, that 
<laughs> My childhood. I was just about to say that. <laughs> Holy shit! Imagine if you were a kid watching that shit. First, when comparing the trainers, Red's bond with Charizard is strong enough to mega evolve. Right. But like most Pokemon, their relationship is still one of master and well. Slave, come on, you know it's true. I know there's the bond of friendship and whatever, but when Red's through with Charizard, it's back to the tiny spherical prison. Ty and Agumon, on the other hand, are best friends on equal footing. And Agumon's fighting power comes directly from Ty. Yeah, these kids were called the Digi-Destined for a reason. And together they had enough power to stop an attack which could have wiped out both the digital and real worlds. And this is the power Agumon's using to Digivolve. Charizard's flame could melt boulders, but that's hardly comparable to Chrome Digisword armor. Hell, Metal Greymon alone is officially documented as possessing the power of a nuclear warhead. And War Greymon has weapons specifically designed to kill dragons. Honestly, it all comes down to a huge difference between Pokemon and Digimon itself. Right. The escalation of evolution. Pokemon evolution improves monsters in increments, whereas the gap between Digimon forms is often massive and quite frankly absurd. Right. In the end, Red and Charizard couldn't even make sense. as much as a tie. The winner is the Digimon. Makes sense for some shit. I didn't. Yeah, I knew I was going to so take the L on that one. Ruby! I'm Ben. I play Wiz. So, like, oh my god, I need that shirt. I just animate this cool stuff. I'm yeah. just surprised I'm still. I just killed Charizard. You're the worst. <laughs> Shit, I gotta get that shirt. Play man, play man. Who's uh, next? Thank you guys so much uh, for all of your support throughout the season. It's been crazy. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching this awesome season two finale. We're gonna be out so? for like a couple months. We'll be coming back with a season three in March. But for the meantime, we want this guy to get some sleep. He works yes. way too hard. But I thank you, man. Yeah. Ahead and uh, we got a lot of great stuff planned for season three. If you want to keep up with us uh, during the break. You can follow us on our own social media as well as follow at ScrewAttack on Twitter or official essay on Facebook, and we'll let you guys know the exact date when uh, Death Battle's coming back. So okay. We have uh, social media. We've also got our actors, voice actors, social media in the description below. You can check that out. And one of them, Nate Wants to Battle. You may have heard of him. He's around the YouTubes. He did some of the battle music. Nate Wants to Battle did battle music for Death Battle. It's great. It's perfect. Death Battle. I'm going to have to check the beat because I actually like the music. That was pretty good. Thank you, Nate. We'll yeah, see you guys nice. later. Thanks. Looking hey, forward to yeah. sharing an epic season three with you guys. Yeah, so am I actually. This was fun. This season this season was really good, guys. Don't you agree? Vote for helping to make this episode of Death Battle possible. I thought there were more than one I thought there were at least four or five seasons, but damn, that's crazy, right? Then spread the word on social media with the hashtag GameState. Oh shit, we got an hour and a half until 2016, ladies and gentlemen. But yes, thank you so much, uh, Death Battle here. Um, I I need to think about breaking this shit up or not. Um, I'm gonna have to break it up or not. Uh, break it up anyways because of the copyright strike. But I don't even know if I'm gonna include the um, the ex explanation because I was just like, what the fuck are they talking about? So I've noticed. I've noticed. There's. I usually have a pretty good indication about the way this works opposed to like you know reacting to things that i'm actually emotionally invested in or so or i can actually get with compared to just being a reactionist or whatever just reacting to every anything and everything and you get kind of like a so-so reaction or you, you know um and obviously i wouldn't sit here and try and fake it so the explanation itself i was just like the fuck is going on right like I, I i was getting a little lost and not really caring so much especially because i didn't even know like i kind of remember a few months ago i heard that there was a new pokemon and it's not ash or something like that it was it was going to focus around charizard and not pikachu so uh, but i was so lost that part but the actual execution the battle itself was actually pretty dope, and it got a, it got a few in wrestling terms. It got a few pops out of me um, uh, toward the end, so I did like that. All right, guys. Uh, either this is going up tonight, uh, or it's going up next year, which would be in an hour and a half from now. Take care of yourselves, guys. Akamon, Akasan, digital monster, doot doot. Akasan, Akamon, digital reactor, doot doot.